Marshal d'Azura. Chapter 431 Shocking the Nine Provinces, the head of the Fire God School, Kong Chengwang, had his position of school head taken away. After being painfully beaten, he was even forced into confinement. The old ancestor of the Fire God School, who had been cultivating in isolation for over a decade, came out once again and retook control over the Fire God School. The reason was very simple. Chu Feng caused the Fire God School to have no face, so he had to kill Chu Feng or else it would be impossible to dispel his heart's fury. But the news that very rapidly spread throughout the continent of the Nine Provinces and could not be avoided was Chu Feng and Zi Ling visiting the Fire God School, the disciples of the school being slaughtered, the tombs of their ancestors being dug, and forcing out the old ancestor of the Fire God School who was painstakingly cultivating. After that news was known, it was undoubtedly explosive. There was almost no one who wasn't greatly shocked. It was because Chu Feng was getting more and more bold. He defied common sense more and more, and he had actually broke common sense so much that he took the initiative to go to the Fire God School to make a mess. He even dug up the tombs of the Fire God School's ancestors, killed a large number of elders and disciples, destroyed countless palaces, and it was said that even the defense formations the Fire God School asked the Jia clan to laid were broken. If the old ancestor of the Fire God School didn't come out, the Fire God School would have been flattened. That was really too terrifying. Chu Feng was really too terrifying. But other than Chu Feng, there was also another person who became famous. It was Zi Ling. As long as one mentioned a purple-clothed young female who was in the ninth level of the profound realm and had strength that similarly broke common sense, many people could associate her with Lady Zi Ling, who announced, at the prestigious villa's marriage gathering, that she was willing to follow Chu Feng's footsteps. A 16-year-old young man, in addition to a 15-year-old young woman, almost destroyed a trump card power that had been existing for nearly a thousand years. What did that mean? It didn't mean that the Fire God School was too weak. It only meant their opponents were too strong. Chu Feng was definitely a person who was going to become an extremely powerful person. It was something the entire continent of the nine provinces publicly agreed on. Chu Feng's battle power that defied common sense. Chu Feng's bold nerves and recklessness. Chu Feng's bloodthirsty nature. Chu Feng's insane actions. All of those had already made commotions from being known. Chu Feng, the 16-year-old young man, became the most heatedly discussed person in the continent of the Nine Provinces, and the name Chu Feng also became the representation of evil. When some young children of Grand Marshal Cultivation families were disobedient, the seniors would even say, Chu Feng would come to catch you if you don't listen. The little children would then obediently listen. But there were also some people who felt that Chu Feng was brave and imposing enough. Even if the many powers on the continent of the nine provinces all wanted him dead, he was still not afraid in the slightest. Not only did he escape this continent, he even dealt with those powers and caused them to suffer from heavy losses again and again. They were attacked again and again, and they were almost completely annihilated. It had to be said that Chu Feng became an idol in some young people's hearts. He became a person of adoration for many people, and some people even made biographies about Chu Feng's rumors. They did that because those people felt that the young man Chu Feng would definitely become a huge character that would shake the world, he could even possibly surpass the existence of the Azure Dragon founder and become another legend of the continent of the Nine Provinces. There were even many ladies who loudly yelled that they loved Chu Feng and wanted to marry him. They were willing to be like Zi Ling, to follow Chu Feng's footsteps, and begged Chu Feng to accept them. There were even some insane males who said they admired Chu Feng and were willing to befriend him and become brothers with him to fight against the many powers together. All in all, in the current continent of the nine provinces, the person who was mentioned the most was Chu Feng. News that were paid most attention to were also things about Chu Feng and the six big powers. When the news regarding the Fire God School were known, the ones most stunned were none other than the Yuan Gang School, Free and Unrestrained Valley, Hidden White Sect, Sword God Valley, and Jia Clan. 
it didn't matter much for the Jia clan. After all, within the clan, not only did they have Jia Xingpeng to stabilize their position, they even had an outstanding genius-level old ancestor who dumbfounded the continent a hundred years ago. There were also many experts in the Jia clan, and their spirit formations were even so exceptionally powerful. They were not worried about Chu Feng going to their Jia clan to stir up a mess. Rather, if Chu Feng hurried there, it would simply be the same as sending himself to his death. But the Yuan Gang School, Free and Unrestrained Valley, Hidden White Sect, and Sword God Valley were different. They weren't as strong as the Jia clan, so they worried that they would get emptied and suffer huge losses, like how the Fire God School did. So, the four powers had also asked their respective old ancestors currently cultivating in isolation to come out and let them take over the general situation. When all five old ancestors of the five big powers came out of their mountains and learned about the matter's whole story, they also felt that their successors did the correct actions and approved of killing Chu Feng. So, the five old ancestors joined up their names and reported to the Jiang dynasty, imploring the dynasty to increase the offensive power towards Chu Feng even more. In reality, the Jiang dynasty was like an owner of a shop that only ordered others to do things and did nothing itself. Although it was the overlord of the continent of the nine provinces, other than the Han province it occupied, all of the other provinces were handled by the strong powers which had been existing for long times. Every year, the Jiang dynasty was only responsible for collecting some taxes and collecting some presents. They didn't care about anything else. The Yuan Gang School, Prestigious Villa, Fire God School, Hidden White Sect, Sword God Valley, and Free and Unrestrained Valley were incidentally the targets they appointed for the several big provinces. So, when the old ancestors of those powers joined up with their names, even if the Jiang dynasty didn't want to handle that issue, in order to stabilize people's hearts, more or less, they would have to make their move. So, the Jiang dynasty announced to the world that the princess of the Jiang dynasty, the number one genius of the young generation, Jiang Yini, let a hundred heaven realm experts out, and swore to find Chu Feng to bind him with the ropes of the law. When that news became known, it instantly caused great shock. 100 Heaven Realm Experts How powerful was the Jiang dynasty? They actually so casually sent out a hundred Heaven Realm experts? On the surface, the Jiang dynasty was valuing the six big powers. It was valuing the safety of the citizens of the continent of the nine provinces. But in reality, they were flaunting their own strength in order to let the powers of the world to never forget who the master of the continent of the nine provinces was. To let them know who, in an ordinary day, could completely change everything in a single province. But if the Jiang dynasty wanted to exterminate them, it would only be something that would be finished in a split moment. The position of the Jiang dynasty could not be shaken. Even if all the powers in the continent of the nine provinces joined hands, they would be unable to fight against the Jiang dynasty. No matter how much better the development of the other powers got, no matter how much stronger they got, they would still remain as a tiny hill, while the Jiang dynasty would be a towering, unmovable huge peak. As loud discussions were stirred up when the Jiang dynasty made their move, Chu Feng, the focus of these matters, disappeared once again. In actuality, after Chu Feng and Zi Ling made such a huge mess in the Fire God School, the two of them left the Qin province, stepped over several big provinces, and arrived at another neighboring province of the Azure province, the Yuan province. The Yuan province was the land of the Hidden White Sect. When they arrived there at first, Chu Feng and Zi Ling originally wanted to redo the old tricks by digging the ancestors' tombs of the Hidden White Sect and also slaughter their sex disciples as they were digging. But they could do nothing as the news about the Fire God School spread too quickly. When Chu Feng and Zi Ling arrived at the Yuan province, the head of the Hidden White sect already asked the old ancestor to come out. Also, they strictly increased defense and many disciples and elders outside were called back, as they were deeply afraid of receiving Chu Feng's poisonous hands. In that situation, Chu Feng and Zi Ling could only temporarily remain peaceful for a while. Thus, the two of them found a hidden place and started to cultivate in seclusion. 
Zi Ling continued to try breaking into her heaven realm, while Chu Fong was refining his grand piles and piles of cultivation resources. The profound beads were acceptable, after all, there were only a million or so beads. But there were really two goddamn many origin beads, and they truly exhausted quite a bit of Chu Feng's time. 630485 Beft B9 8C 9622 D6C 69 Chapter 431 Shocking the Nine Provinces The head of the Fire God School, Kong Chengwang, had his position of school head taken away. After being painfully beaten, he was even forced into confinement. The old ancestor of the Fire God School, who had been cultivating in isolation for over a decade, came out once again and retook control over the Fire God School. The reason was very simple. Chu Feng caused the Fire God School to have no face, so he had to kill Chu Feng or else it would be impossible to dispel his heart's fury. But the news that very rapidly spread throughout the continent of the Nine Provinces and could not be avoided was Chu Feng and Zi Ling visiting the Fire God School, the disciples of the school being slaughtered, the tombs of their ancestors being dug, and forcing out the old ancestor of the Fire God School who was painstakingly cultivating. After that news was known, it was undoubtedly explosive. There was almost no one who wasn't greatly shocked. It was because Chu Feng was getting more and more bold. He defied common sense more and more, and he had actually broke common sense so much that he took the initiative to go to the Fire God School to make a mess. He even dug up the tombs of the Fire God School's ancestors, killed a large number of elders and disciples, destroyed countless palaces, and it was said that even the defense formations the Fire God School asked the Jia clan to laid were broken. If the old ancestor of the Fire God School didn't come out, the Fire God School would have been flattened. That was really too terrifying. Chu Feng was really too terrifying. But other than Chu Feng, there was also another person who became famous. It was Zi Ling. As long as one mentioned a purple-clothed young female who was in the ninth level of the profound realm and had strength that similarly broke common sense, many people could associate her with Lady Zi Ling who announced, at the prestigious villa's marriage gathering, that she was willing to follow Chu Feng's footsteps. A 16-year-old young man, in addition to a 15-year-old young woman, almost destroyed a trump card power that had been existing for nearly a thousand years. What did that mean? It didn't mean that the Fire God School was too weak. It only meant their opponents were too strong. Chu Feng was definitely a person who was going to become an extremely powerful person. It was something the entire continent of the nine provinces publicly agreed on. Chu Feng's battle power that defied common sense. Chu Feng's bold nerves and recklessness. Chu Feng's bloodthirsty nature. Chu Feng's insane actions. All of those had already made commotions from being known. Chu Feng, the 16-year-old young man, became the most heatedly discussed person in the continent of the Nine Provinces, and the name Chu Feng also became the representation of evil. When some young children of Grand Martial Cultivation families were disobedient, the seniors would even say, Chu Feng would come to catch you if you don't listen. The little children would then obediently listen. But there were also some people who felt that Chu Feng was brave and imposing enough. Even if the many powers on the continent of the nine provinces all wanted him dead, he was still not afraid in the slightest. Not only did he escape this continent, he even dealt with those powers and caused them to suffer from heavy losses again and again. They were attacked again and again, and they were almost completely annihilated. It had to be said that Chu Feng became an idol in some young people's hearts. He became a person of adoration for many people, and some people even made biographies about Chu Feng's rumors. They did that because those people felt that the young man Chu Feng would definitely become a huge character that would shake the world, he could even possibly surpass the existence of the Azure Dragon founder and become another legend of the continent of the Nine Provinces. There were even many ladies who loudly yelled that they loved Chu Feng and wanted to marry him. They were willing to be like Zi Ling, to follow Chu Feng's footsteps, and beg Chu Feng to accept them. There were even some insane males who said they admired Chu Feng and were willing to befriend him and become brothers with him to fight against the many powers together. All in all, 
In the current continent of the nine provinces, the person who was mentioned the most was Chu Feng. News that were paid most attention to were also things about Chu Feng and the six big powers. When the news regarding the Fire God School were known, the ones most stunned were none other than the Yuan Gang School, Free and Unrestrained Valley, Hidden White Sect, Sword God Valley, and Jia Clan. It didn't matter much for the Jia Clan. After all, within the clan, not only did they have Jia Xingpeng to stabilize their position, they even had an outstanding genius-level old ancestor who dumbfounded the continent a hundred years ago. There were also many experts in the Jia clan, and their spirit formations were even so exceptionally powerful. They were not worried about Chu Feng going to their Jia clan to stir up a mess. Rather, if Chu Feng hurried there, it would simply be the same as sending himself to his death. But the Yuan Gang School, Free and Unrestrained Valley, Hidden White Sect, and Sword God Valley were different. They weren't as strong as the Jia clan, so they worried that they would get emptied and suffer huge losses, like how the Fire God School did. So, the four powers had also asked their respective old ancestors currently cultivating in isolation to come out and let them take over the general situation. When all five old ancestors of the five big powers came out of their mountains and learned about the matter's whole story, they also felt that their successors did the correct actions and approved of killing Chu Feng. So, the five old ancestors joined up their names and reported to the Jiang dynasty, imploring the dynasty to increase the offensive power towards Chu Feng even more. In reality, the Jiang dynasty was like an owner of a shop that only ordered others to do things and did nothing itself. Although it was the overlord of the continent of the nine provinces, other than the Han province it occupied, all of the other provinces were handled by the strong powers which had been existing for long times. Every year, the Jiang dynasty was only responsible for collecting some taxes and collecting some presents. They didn't care about anything else. The Yuan Gang School, Prestigious Villa, Fire God School, Hidden White Sect, Sword God Valley, and Free and Unrestrained Valley were incidentally the targets they appointed for the several big provinces. So, when the old ancestors of those powers joined up with their names, even if the Jiang dynasty didn't want to handle that issue, in order to stabilize people's hearts, more or less, they would have to make their move. So, the Jiang dynasty announced to the world that the princess of the Jiang dynasty, the number one genius of the young generation, Jiang Yini, let a hundred heaven realm experts out, and swore to find Chu Feng to bind him with the ropes of the law. When that news became known, it instantly caused great shock. 100 Heaven Realm Experts How powerful was the Jiang dynasty? They actually so casually sent out a 100 Heaven Realm Experts? On the surface, the Jiang dynasty was valuing the six big powers. It was valuing the safety of the citizens of the continent of the nine provinces. But in reality, they were flaunting their own strength in order to let the powers of the world to never forget who the master of the continent of the nine provinces was. To let them know who, in an ordinary day, could completely change everything in a single province. But if the Jiang dynasty wanted to exterminate them, it would only be something that would be finished in a split moment. The position of the Jiang dynasty could not be shaken. Even if all the powers in the continent of the nine provinces joined hands, they would be unable to fight against the Jiang dynasty. No matter how much better the development of the other powers got, no matter how much stronger they got, they would still remain as a tiny hill, while the Jiang dynasty would be a towering, unmovable huge peak. As loud discussions were stirred up when the Jiang dynasty made their move, Chu Feng, the focus of these matters, disappeared once again. In actuality, after Chu Feng and Zi Ling made such a huge mess in the Fire God School, the two of them left the Qin province, stepped over several big provinces, and arrived at another neighboring province of the Azure province, the Yuan province. The Yuan province was the land of the Hidden White Sect. When they arrived there at first, Chu Feng and Zi Ling originally wanted to redo the old tricks by digging the ancestors' tombs of the Hidden White Sect and also slaughter their sex disciples as they were digging. But they could do nothing as the news about the Fire God School spread too quickly. When Chu Feng and Zi Ling arrived at the Yuan province, the head of the Hidden White sect already asked the old ancestor to come out. 
Also, they strictly increased defense and many disciples and elders outside were called back, as they were deeply afraid of receiving Chu Feng's poisonous hands. In that situation, Chu Feng and Zi Ling could only temporarily remain peaceful for a while. Thus, the two of them found a hidden place and started to cultivate in seclusion. Zi Ling continued to try breaking into her heaven realm, while Chu Feng was refining his grand piles and piles of cultivation resources. The profound beads were acceptable, after all, there were only a million or so beads. But there were really two god damn many origin beads, and they truly exhausted quite a bit of Chu Feng's time. Martial God Azura Chapter 432 Honestly Explaining Oh? You failed again? When Chu Feng finished refining the last origin bead and walked out of the mountain cave, he discovered that Zi Ling was sitting at the entrance of another mountain cave. Looking at her dispirited appearance, she clearly failed to make a breakthrough again. Shut up. Do you think breaking into the heaven realm is that easy? Zi Ling fiercely glared at Chu Feng, then quickly after, said, Chu Feng, right now, even the Jiang dynasty has sent out people. And about that Princess Jiang Yini, I've heard about her from my grandfather. When my grandfather was cultivating in a dangerous place, he met Jiang Yini. She's the Jiang dynasty's current number one genius within the young generation. When my grandfather met her, she was already in the fifth level of the heaven realm. I'm sure that at present, it is very possible that she already reached the sixth level of the heaven realm. Also, the methods the people from the Jiang dynasty grasp are very strong. If Jiang Yini finds us, I'm afraid that we will not have much luck. How about, we leave the continent of the nine provinces and go to the eastern sea region? Eastern sea region? Is that place far? Chu Feng asked. Far? Of course it's far. We would need to pass several continents. For some of those continents, there would be people living, and for other continents, there would simply be deserts. We would also need to pass many sea regions before truly arriving at the eastern sea region. With the speed of my exquisite chariot, it would probably take half a year. Zi Ling said. Half a year? After hearing those words, Chu Feng, whose heart was originally a bit moved instantly dispelled that thought. It would take half a year to go there and a year would pass in total, to come back. He could not waste that time. He could not afford to waste it. What's wrong? Seeing that Chu Feng seemed to be in a bit of a difficult situation, Zi Ling asked confusedly. Zi Ling, to be honest, temporarily, I cannot leave the continent of the nine provinces. Chu Feng said. Why? Do you have something you need to do? Or do you feel that your cultivation isn't enough? Zi Ling asked. And when he saw Zi Ling's concerned appearance, Chu Feng was really unable bear, continue hiding it from her. So, he told everything about himself and Su Ro and Su Mei, as well as the method to save them both, all to Zi Ling. After hearing those things, Zi Ling went silent. Her clear eyes were no longer clear, and no one knew what she was thinking about. Zi Ling, I shouldn't have hidden this matter from you. Are you blaming me? Blaming that I didn't tell you earlier that I already have two fiancés before you? Idiot. What are you thinking about? A male marrying three, for wives is a very normal thing. How could I blame you? I, Zi Ling, said I approve of you, so I approve of you. No matter what kind of person you are, it has already been set that I will follow you. If you want to rescue the world's commoners, then I will do good and give aid. If you want to slaughter everyone in the world, then I will also become a mad murderer along with you. Besides, having a few extra sisters should be a very happy thing. At least girls know girls better, and it would be a lot more interesting than facing your face every day right? Speaking to that point, an expression of incomparable yearning emerged onto Zi Ling's face. And when Chu Feng saw Zi Ling, who was like that, his tense heart couldn't help but relax, because after the past few days of being together, Chu Feng discovered that Zi Ling was actually a person who dared to follow through with both love and hate. At least, she truly dared to be reckless for himself. 
So, Chu Feng truly liked Zi Ling more and more. He hoped to take Zi Ling as a wife so he could live his life with a female like her. Then, what were you just thinking about? Chu Feng asked with smiles. About that huh? I was thinking about a bold thing, but before I step into the heaven realm, I cannot execute it so I won't tell you for now. Zi Ling smirked and said. TCH, still playing the secrets game with me. You're too stingy. Whatever whatever, girls are always very stingy. How can you be as magnanimous as us men? Come come come, I'll tell you a secret. Chu Feng mysteriously said. What secret? Seeing that, Zi Ling curious asked. As a matter of fact, as long as you sleep together with me and let me do the thing between a man and a woman with you, perhaps my cultivation can greatly increase. Chu Feng said shameless words on the surface, but his face had extremely serious solemnness. You. Go die. Zi Ling furiously howled, and a big slap flew towards Chu Feng. With the experience of being together in these past few days, Chu Feng had already mastered a unique skill of dodging slaps at any time and any place. So, he darted, evaded Zi Ling's strike and said with a face full of grievance, what I said was true. What I said was true as well. Quickly, go die. Zi Ling was truly angry. With a beautiful dash, she came up to Chu Feng. This time, Chu Feng was caught off guard and with a carelessness, his ear was pinched by Zi Ling, then afterwards, Zi Ling twisted her hand and from the inside of the mountain cave, a painful shriek that was like a howl of a wolf or ghost rang out, ah, save me. My future wife is killing her husband. Only after being tormented for an entire morning, then did the two finally calm down. Zi Ling sat on a huge tree, and while swaying her snow white, slender, and beautiful legs, she pouted her little mouth as if she was still angry at Chu Feng. My wife, lunchtime is here. Today's dishes are roasted alligator, roasted tiger, roasted bear, roasted boar, roasted eagle, and roasted goose. What do you want to eat? Chu Feng's shout came from under the tree. I don't want to eat nothing but wild beasts meat. I want to eat delicious foods that look good, smell good, and taste good. Zi Ling said. Delicious foods. I don't know how to make them. Chu Feng scratched his head, then leaped, landed on the huge tree, and knelt next to Zi Ling. He spoke to Zi Ling while grinning, my wife, how about today, I bring you out to eat a good meal. Hooray hooray. Go eat what? After hearing those words, Zi Ling, who got tired of the wild tastes, instantly clapped and yelled hooray. We'll go eat whatever you want to eat. My wife, come on the dragon. Chu Feng rose into the air, and an azure dragon appeared underneath. After flying two circles around the huge tree, he came up to her. No need. Yours is too slow. It's much better to sit on my chariot. Zi Ling shook her head. What do you even know? This is called romance. Quickly come up and let's go for a breeze. Chu Feng firmly said. Fine. Zi Ling hesitated a bit, but she still leaped and sat on the back of Chu Feng's azure dragon. This time, Zi Ling extended her arms without Chu Feng asking and clasped them around Chu Feng's waist. She also stuck her little face of absolute beauty on Chu Feng's back. Feeling Zi Ling's actions, Chu Feng rejoiced in his heart and his face couldn't help but reveal a smile of happiness. Afterwards, with a thought, the azure dragon underneath him flew into the sky, pierced into the blue sky and in between the white clouds. My wife, what do you want to eat? I want to eat red braised pork ribs, spicy shredded meat, dry stirred fish, stewed chicken. Wife, so you're a carnivorous animal. I never said I was a vegetarian. You know, I have one thing on a body that's pretty delicious. Go die. Ah, I haven't said anything yet. 6304858 Beft B9 8 C9 6D 6 C69. Chapter 432 Honestly Explaining. Oh? You failed again? When Chu Feng finished refining the last origin bead and walked out of the mountain cave, 
he discovered that Zi Ling was sitting at the entrance of another mountain cave. Looking at her dispirited appearance, she clearly failed to make a breakthrough again. Shut up. Do you think breaking into the heaven realm is that easy? Zi Ling fiercely glared at Chu Feng, then quickly after, said, Chu Feng, right now, even the Jiang dynasty has sent out people. And about that princess Jiang Yini, I've heard about her from my grandfather. When my grandfather was cultivating in a dangerous place, he met Jiang Yini. She's the Jiang dynasty's current number one genius within the young generation. When my grandfather met her, she was already in the fifth level of the heaven realm. I'm sure that at present, it is very possible that she already reached the sixth level of the heaven realm. Also, the methods the people from the Jiang dynasty grasp are very strong. If Jiang Yini finds us, I'm afraid that we will not have much luck. How about, we leave the continent of the nine provinces and go to the eastern sea region? Eastern sea region? Is that place far? Chu Feng asked. Far. Of course it's far. We would need to pass several continents. For some of those continents, there would be people living, and for other continents, there would simply be deserts. We would also need to pass many sea regions before truly arriving at the eastern sea region. With the speed of my exquisite chariot, it would probably take half a year. Zi Ling said. Half a year? After hearing those words, Chu Feng, whose heart was originally a bit moved instantly dispelled that thought. It would take half a year to go there, and a year would pass in total to come back. He could not waste that time. He could not afford to waste it. What's wrong? Seeing that Chu Feng seemed to be in a bit of a difficult situation, Zi Ling asked confusedly. Zi Ling, to be honest, temporarily, I cannot leave the continent of the nine provinces. Chu Feng said. Why? Do you have something you need to do? Or do you feel that your cultivation isn't enough? Zi Ling asked. And when he saw Zi Ling's concerned appearance, Chu Feng was really unable bear, continue hiding it from her. So, he told everything about himself and Su Ro and Su Mei, as well as the method to save them both, all to Zi Ling. After hearing those things, Zi Ling went silent. Her clear eyes were no longer clear, and no one knew what she was thinking about. Zi Ling, I shouldn't have hidden this matter from you. Are you blaming me? Blaming that I didn't tell you earlier that I already have two fiancés before you? Idiot. What are you thinking about? A male marrying three, for wives is a very normal thing. How could I blame you? I, Zi Ling, said I approve of you, so I approve of you. No matter what kind of person you are, it has already been set that I will follow you. If you want to rescue the world's commoners, then I will do good and give aid. If you want to slaughter everyone in the world, then I will also become a mad murderer along with you. Besides, having a few extra sisters should be a very happy thing. At least girls know girls better, and it would be a lot more interesting than facing your face every day right? Speaking to that point, an expression of incomparable yearning emerged onto Zi Ling's face. And when Chu Feng saw Zi Ling, who was like that, his tense heart couldn't help but relax, because after the past few days of being together, Chu Feng discovered that Zi Ling was actually a person who dared to follow through with both love and hate. At least, she truly dared to be reckless for himself. So, Chu Feng truly liked Zi Ling more and more. He hoped to take Zi Ling as a wife so he could live his life with a female like her. Then, what were you just thinking about? Chu Feng asked with smiles. About that huh? I was thinking about a bold thing, but before I step into the heaven realm, I cannot execute it so I won't tell you for now. Zi Ling smirked and said. TCH, still playing the secrets game with me. You're too stingy. Whatever whatever, girls are always very stingy. How can you be as magnanimous as us men? Come come come, I'll tell you a secret. Chu Feng mysteriously said. What secret? Seeing that, Zi Ling Curious asked. As a matter of fact, 
as long as you sleep together with me and let me do the thing between a man and a woman with you, perhaps my cultivation can greatly increase. Chu Feng said shameless words on the surface, but his face had extremely serious solemnness. You. Go die. Zeling furiously held, and a big slap flew towards Chu Feng. With the experience of being together in these past few days, Chu Feng had already mastered a unique skill of dodging slaps at any time and any place. So, he darted, evaded Zi Ling's strike, and said with a face full of grievance, what I said was true. What I said was true as well. Quickly, go die. Zi Ling was truly angry. With a beautiful dash, she came up to Chu Feng. This time, Chu Feng was caught off guard and with a carelessness, his ear was pinched by Zi Ling. Then afterwards, Zi Ling twisted her hand and from the inside of the mountain cave, a painful shriek that was like a howl of a wolf or ghost rang out, Ah, save me. My future wife is killing her husband. Only after being tormented for an entire morning, then did the two finally calm down. Zi Ling sat on a huge tree, and while swaying her snow-white, slender, and beautiful legs, she pouted her little mouth as if she was still angry at Chu Feng. My wife, lunchtime is here. Today's dishes are, roasted alligator, roasted tiger, roasted bear, roasted boar, roasted eagle, and roasted goose. What do you want to eat? Chu Feng's shout came from under the tree. I don't want to eat nothing but wild beasts meat. I want to eat delicious foods that look good, smell good, and taste good. Zi Ling said. Delicious foods. I don't know how to make them. Chu Feng scratched his head, then leaped, landed on the huge tree, and knelt next to Zi Ling. He spoke to Zi Ling while grinning, My wife, how about today, I bring you out to eat a good meal. Hooray hooray. Go eat what? After hearing those words, Zi Ling, who got tired of the wild tastes, instantly clapped and yelled hooray. We'll go eat whatever you want to eat. My wife, come on the dragon. Chu Feng rose into the air, and an azure dragon appeared underneath. After flying two circles around the huge tree, he came up to her. No need. Yours is too slow. It's much better to sit on my chariot. Zi Ling shook her head. What do you even know? This is called romance. Quickly come up and let's go for a breeze. Chu Feng firmly said. Fine. Zi Ling hesitated a bit, but she still leaped and sat on the back of Chu Feng's azure dragon. This time, Zi Ling extended her arms without Chu Feng asking and clasped them around Chu Feng's waist. She also stuck her little face of absolute beauty on Chu Feng's back. Feeling Zi Ling's actions, Chu Feng rejoiced in his heart and his face couldn't help but reveal a smile of happiness. Afterwards, with a thought, the azure dragon underneath him flew into the sky, pierced into the blue sky and in between the white clouds. My wife, what do you want to eat? I want to eat red-braised pork ribs, spicy shredded meat, dry-stirred fish, stewed chicken. Wife, so you're a carnivorous animal. I never said I was a vegetarian. You know, I have one thing on a body that's pretty delicious. Go die. Ah, uh, I haven't said anything yet. Marshal God Azura. Chapter 433 This is called a spiritual bee Chu Feng rode the azure dragon formed by the martial skill, and while carrying the little outstanding beauty, they traveled through the white clouds while facing cool wind breezes. It was called being at ease. It was called being refreshed. So, Chu Feng couldn't help but circle a few more times in the air, because the feeling of Zi Ling, his future wife, Hugging him was truly comfortable and he couldn't bear losing that feeling. If you still don't bring me to eat, I will starve to death. Only until Zi Ling lashed out and loudly held did Chu Feng hurriedly quicken his speed to head towards areas with human residences. Damn it. Damn Chu Feng, stinking Chu Feng, you dare to play around with me? You said you would bring me to eat some delicious food, yet you randomly fly and spin in the air. The sun has almost set, but I haven't seen you find a city yet. I will really starve to death. Who was Zi Ling? She was a typical nobly born lady, so with any small defect, like being hungry, 
her lady temper would come. At that instant, her pure white and slender hands no longer honestly hugged Chu Feng. They were like two pliers as they madly squeezed many different parts of Chu Feng's body to vent her anger. Ah, my wife, forgive me. It's just that seeing such a beautiful day with quite nice weather, I wanted to. You're still speaking? Ah. Okay. Look, there's a village ahead. How about we go there for a meal? Whatever. Right now, as long as I have something to eat, it'll be fine because I already don't want to move from hunger. He was really unable to take Zi Ling's torture, so Chu Feng didn't bother finding a decent restaurant in a city. At this time, a satisfactory village appeared underneath. Although it could not be said to be very flourishing, that village would definitely have things like chicken, duck, and goose. So, after Chu Feng circled around, he landed outside the village. Afterwards, with the mysterious mask, he changed his face and brought Zi Ling into the village. Wu Wu. However, just as they entered the village, Chu Feng felt strange. On the road of the village, it seemed very quiet and only a group of children were playing. Even if they passed a few old people occasionally, they were depressed with their heads looking down. The most important part was that with sharp detection power, Chu Feng was able to hear some sobbing that was currently coming from some houses. If those sobs didn't belong to old people, then they belonged to women, and they were extremely sorrowful. Chu Feng, something must have happened here. Suddenly, Zi Ling spoke. Clearly, she who had even sharper spirit power already felt the abnormality of the village. Wah, big sister, you're so beautiful. Just at that time, that group of children discovered Chu Feng and Zi Ling. They crowded up and surrounded them. Zi Ling was really too beautiful. Her face was as if it shouldn't appear in the mortal world, so all the people who saw her would be attracted by her extremely beautiful face. The group of children who were innately lacking evil could not resist being drawn to her. Oi, snot child, don't touch. Chu Feng saw a girl with a face full of snot, hands full of snot, mouth full of snot, extending her hand, which was covered with snot, wanting to touch Zi Ling's purple-colored skirt. That made Chu Feng angry. Even he didn't dare to so shamelessly touch Zi Ling, yet that dirty child did. How could Chu Feng endure it? Ah. So scary. However, Chu Feng regretted shouting because his voice was too loud and it terrified the group of children. Chu Feng, it doesn't matter. If the clothes get dirty, just wash it and it'll be fine, right? Don't scare this group of children. Zi Ling sweetly smiled, then had actually hugged the girl with a face full of snot and asked, Little lady, what's your name? I'm called Aria. After the little girl with snot wiped the snot on her face, she spoke while smiling. It could be seen that she was very happy. Big sister, I'm called Gosheng. Just at that time, a little boy even dirtier than the snot girl ran over. He even shamelessly opened his arms and wanted Zi Ling to hug him. She didn't even ask you, so why tell her that? A fat child shot a glance at the dirty boy and obviously, even he, who was a companion of the dirty boy, couldn't bear looking at his shameless action. No matter if you ask me or not, I'm still called Gosheng. Big sister, I also want a hug. After the dirty boy fiercely returned a glare at the little fatty, he shamelessly pounced towards Zi Ling. You can go hug fart. Go back to your home and find your mother to hug. Chu Feng suddenly extended his foot and kicked the little boy's butt, throwing him one meter away. Girls were fine, but even the boy wanted to take advantage of her? To Chu Feng, that boy shouldn't even think about it. Chu Feng, this group of children are truly very cute. Zi Ling really liked the group of little children who were around five or six years old, and she was extremely happy when playing with the group of dirty little children. Looking at her appearance, it seemed that she already forgot about her stomach being hungry. You like children? Me too. Chu Feng maliciously smiled, then said to Zi Ling, My wife, when should we also have a child? Sure. If you want to die, give it a try. Purple light flashed in Zi Ling's pupils, and instantly, 
Chu Feng backed one step away from fright then said with a smile, just a joke. But wife, I feel that your way of thinking is correct. We are still young, and it wouldn't be late to have children or anything like that in the future. Humph Zeling curled her lips and coldly snorted. In these days, she gradually got used to Chu Feng's shamelessness. Area, Goshing, look. What's this? Suddenly, Chu Feng had a clever thought. He took ten spiritual beads out from his cosmo sack. There were truly an uncountable number of those things in the Fire God burial grounds of the Fire God school, back then. But they were useless as the spiritual energy they contained was too low so they weren't too useful for Chu Feng. But even though those things didn't help cultivation too much, they were the most common and widely used currency. A single spiritual bead was already enough for a commoner to richly live through several generations without worries about food or clothing, while greatly eating fish and meat for meals. So, at that time, Chu Feng casually collected a few. The reason was to avoid lacking money to pay people when they were eating outside. After all, embarrassing things like those did indeed happen before on Chu Feng. Besides, to normal commoners, even if Chu Feng took out things like profound beads or origin beads, they might not necessarily recognize it. Instead, spiritual beads had the best effects. Tn, the children refer to themselves in third person. Wah, big brother, your marbles are so pretty. Can you give them to Arya? I also want them as well. Big brother, give them to Goshing. I'll take my glass marbles to exchange for yours. Seeing the spiritual beads, which overflowed with radiance, little stars instantly appeared in the children's eyes and had actually thought that the spiritual beads were the little marbles they played with. But the most shameless one was still the dirty little child called Goshing. He had actually took a dozen or so ragged and broken marbles that were grinded from rocks out from his pockets, and he wanted to take the marbles that were dirty and ugly and broken and ragged for Chu Feng's spiritual beads. All of you lack experience, so let me tell you this. These aren't marbles you play with. These are spiritual beads. They are treasures, so they are worth a lot. Chu Feng explained. 630485BFB98C9622D6C69 Chapter 433 This is called a spiritual bead. Chu Feng rode the azure dragon formed by the martial skill, and while carrying the little outstanding beauty, they traveled through the white clouds while facing cool wind breezes. It was called being at ease. It was called being refreshed. So, Chu Feng couldn't help but circle a few more times in the air because the feeling of Zi Ling, his future wife, hugging him was truly comfortable and he couldn't bear losing that feeling. If you still don't bring me to eat, I will starve to death. Only until Zi Ling lashed out and loudly held did Chu Feng hurriedly quicken his speed to head towards areas with human residences. Damn it. Damn Chu Feng, stinking Chu Feng, you dare to play around with me? You said you would bring me to eat some delicious food, yet you randomly fly and spin in the air. The sun has almost set, but I haven't seen you find a city yet. I will really starve to death. Who was Zi Ling? She was a typical nobly born lady, so with any small defect, like being hungry, her lady temper would come. At that instant, her pure white and slender hands no longer honestly hugged Chu Feng. They were like two pliers as they madly squeezed many different parts of Chu Feng's body to vent her anger. Ah, my wife, forgive me. It's just that seeing such a beautiful day with quite nice weather, I wanted to. You're still speaking? Ah. Okay. Look, there's a village ahead. How about we go there for a meal? Whatever. Right now, as long as I have something to eat, it'll be fine because I already don't want to move from hunger. He was really unable to take Zi Ling's torture, so Chu Feng didn't bother finding a decent restaurant in a city. At this time, a satisfactory village appeared underneath. Although it could not be said to be very flourishing, that village would definitely have things like chicken, duck, and goose. So, after Chu Feng circled around, he landed outside the village. Afterwards, with the mysterious mask, 
he changed his face and brought Zi Ling into the village. Woo woo. However, just as they entered the village, Chu Feng felt strange. On the road of the village, it seemed very quiet and only a group of children were playing. Even if they passed a few old people occasionally, they were depressed with their heads looking down. The most important part was that with sharp detection power, Chu Feng was able to hear some sobbing that was currently coming from some houses. If those sobs didn't belong to old people, then they belonged to women, and they were extremely sorrowful. Chu Feng, something must have happened here. Suddenly, Zi Ling spoke. Clearly, she who had even sharper spirit power already felt the abnormality of the village. Wah, big sister, you're so beautiful. Just at that time, that group of children discovered Chu Feng and Zi Ling. They crowded up and surrounded them. Zi Ling was really too beautiful. Her face was as if it shouldn't appear in the mortal world, so all the people who saw her would be attracted by her extremely beautiful face. The group of children who were innately lacking evil could not resist being drawn to her. Oi, snot child, don't touch. Chu Feng saw a girl with a face full of snot hands full of snot, mouth full of snot, extending her hand, which was covered with snot, wanting to touch Zi Ling's purple-colored skirt. That made Chu Feng angry. Even he didn't dare to so shamelessly touch Zi Ling, yet that dirty child did. How could Chu Feng endure it? Ah! So scary! However, Chu Feng regretted shouting because his voice was too loud and it terrified the group of children. Chu Feng, it doesn't matter. If the clothes get dirty, just wash it and it'll be fine, right? Don't scare this group of children. Zi Ling sweetly smiled, then had actually hugged the girl with a face full of snot and asked, Little lady, what's your name? I'm called Aria. After the little girl with snot wiped the snot on her face, she spoke while smiling. It could be seen that she was very happy. Big sister, I'm called Gosheng. Just at that time, a little boy even dirtier than the snot girl ran over. He even shamelessly opened his arms and wanted Zi Ling to hug him. She didn't even ask you, so why tell her that? A fat child shot a glance at the dirty boy and obviously, even he, who was a companion of the dirty boy, couldn't bear looking at his shameless action. No matter if you ask me or not, I'm still called Gosheng. Big sister, I also want a hug. After the dirty boy fiercely returned a glare at the little fatty, he shamelessly pounced towards Zi Ling. You can go hug fart. Go back to your home and find your mother to hug. Chu Feng suddenly extended his foot and kicked the little boy's butt, throwing him one meter away. Girls were fine, but even the boy wanted to take advantage of her? To Chu Feng, that boy shouldn't even think about it. Chu Feng, this group of children are truly very cute. Zi Ling really liked the group of little children who were around five or six years old and she was extremely happy when playing with the group of dirty little children. Looking at her appearance, it seemed that she already forgot about her stomach being hungry. You like children? Me too. Chu Feng maliciously smiled, then said to Zi Ling, my wife, when should we also have a child? Sure. If you want to die, give it a try. Purple light flashed in Zi Ling's pupils, and instantly, Chu Feng backed one step away from fright then said with a smile, just a joke. But wife, I feel that your way of thinking is correct. We are still young, and it wouldn't be late to have children or anything like that in the future. Humph Zi Ling curled her lips and coldly snorted. In these days, she gradually got used to Chu Feng's shamelessness. Area, Goshing, look. What's this? Suddenly, Chu Feng had a clever thought. He took ten spiritual beads out from his cosmos sack. There were truly an uncountable number of those things in the Fire God burial grounds of the Fire God school, back then. But they were useless as the spiritual energy they contained was too low so they weren't too useful for Chu Feng. But even though those things didn't help cultivation too much, they were the most common and widely used currency. A single spiritual bead was already enough for a commoner to richly live through several generations without worries about food or clothing, while greatly eating fish and meat for meals. 
so, at that time, Chu Feng casually collected a few. The reason was to avoid lacking money to pay people when they were eating outside. After all, embarrassing things like those did indeed happen before on Chu Feng. Besides, to normal commoners, even if Chu Feng took out things like profound beads or origin beads, they might not necessarily recognize it. Instead, spiritual beads had the best effects. Tn, the children refer to themselves in third person. Wah, big brother, your marbles are so pretty. Can you give them to Arya? I also want them as well. Big brother, give them to Goshing. I'll take my glass marbles to exchange for yours. Seeing the spiritual beads which overflowed with radiance, little stars instantly appeared in the children's eyes and had actually thought that the spiritual beads were the little marbles they played with. But the most shameless one was still the dirty little child called Goshing. He had actually took a dozen or so ragged and broken marbles that were grinded from rocks out from his pockets, and he wanted to take the marbles that were dirty and ugly and broken and ragged for Chu Feng's spiritual beads. All of you lack experience, so let me tell you this. These aren't marbles you play with. These are spiritual beads. They are treasures, so they are worth a lot. Chu Feng explained. Marshal got Azura. Chapter 434 Elder Sister Goddess Big Brother, Give These Treasures to Me. Arya really likes them. The snob girl in Zi Ling's embrace extended hand and wanted to grab them. Big Brother, give one to me. Will it not work if I take these to trade for one of yours? The shameless dirty child pushed the marble he took out from his pants up to chew foam. If you want them, fine. But there's one condition. Your big brother and big sister haven't eaten for a whole day. Whose parents can make delicious food? Treat big brother and big sister for a meal, then these spiritual beads will be theirs. Chu Feng said. And when Chu Feng's words were spoken, all of the children went into silence. They cast their gazes of admiration and envy towards the snot girl, Aria. Haha, <laughs> this is great. The spiritual bead marbles are mine. Indeed, Arya was so excited she immediately jumped down from Zi Ling's embrace, and as she jumped up and down, she yelled, The dishes my mom makes are the most delicious. She knows how to make anything, and they are the most appetitive in our village. Big brother big sister, come home with Arya. I'll tell my mom to make the most delicious food. As she spoke, Arya skipped towards her home. Seeing that, Chu Feng and Zi Ling followed her. Arya's family environment was not bad. At least, in terms of being in the small village, it counted as being a moderately prosperous family. Arya's mother was also very friendly. After knowing that Zi Ling and Chu Feng hadn't eaten yet, she hurriedly started to cook a table of deliciousness for Chu Feng and Zi Ling. Although they were all local village dishes, it had to be said that Arya's mother's handiwork was truly quite nice. At least, it was a lot better than the wild beasts Chu Feng roasted. Zi Ling and Chu Feng ate with great appetite. Especially Zi Ling. She ate a mouthful of oil, so it could be seen that the girl was truly starving badly. But it had to be said that beauties were beauties. Chu Feng was entranced from looking at Zi Ling because no matter how much more wolfish she ate like, when one looked at her, they would still feel cuteness. Big sister, you are truly beautiful, just like a goddess. After the snot girl Arya returned home, her mother changed a set of clothing for her and washed her face. When there was much less snot on her after her face became clean, the girl had quite a cute appearance and that also caused Chu Feng to be more pleased when he looked at her. Oh Arya, how can there be goddesses in this world? Chu Feng hiddenly said. Having no culture was truly terrifying. In the world, there were only cultivators. How could there be any gods? They were merely martial cultivators with profound cultivation misunderstood by commoners. Citizens that hadn't cultivated before liked to call cultivators as gods or deities like things. In short, in their eyes, people with high cultivation were gods. For example, Chu Feng and Zi Ling. If they displayed their cultivation, it was likely that Arya would believe that they were gods. 
There are. If they can fly, they are gods. Arya blinked her big eyes that lacked any evil and argued with Chu Fong. Okay, if you say it like that, your big sister here would truly be a goddess. After Chu Fong looked at Zi Ling, he couldn't help laughing because Zi Ling could fly. According to Arya's words, wasn't Zi Ling a goddess? Actually, in my family, there's also an elder sister goddess. My elder sister is very beautiful as well, but she is traveling afar or else she could compare with you, big sister. As Arya spoke, she cast her gaze towards her mother and said, Mom, when is my elder sister coming back? I miss her. Your elder sister has only left for a few days. This time, she is traveling far, so it'll take a long time for her to come back. Arya's mother smiled as she rubbed Arya's head, then quickly after, said to Chu Feng and Zi Ling, There is still one more dish that is not finished. I'll go in to check. Arya's mother walked towards the kitchen while speaking. Although to a naive child like Arya, she could not see anything wrong with that scene, Chu Feng and Zi Ling clearly saw the change in Arya's mother's emotions. It was helpless sadness, concealing the sorrow in her heart. Definitely, Arya's elder sister wasn't doing something as simple as traveling to a far place and something must have happened in this village, or else there wouldn't be so many old people and women silently crying. So, after signaling Zi Ling, Chu Feng tailed Arya's mother and entered the kitchen. Indeed, before even entering the kitchen, Chu Feng heard bursts of sobbing. They came from Arya's mother. Aunt, what happened? Where did Arya's elder sister go? Chu Feng went up and asked. Eh? You, Chu Feng's sudden arrival, jumped Arya's mother, and there was some panic and astonishment in the gaze she looked at Chu Feng with. Don't worry. I'm a cultivator. If you have any difficulties, feel free to speak them to me. Perhaps I can help you out. Chu Feng hurriedly explained. Really? You're a cultivator? Arya's mother half believed and half doubted. After all, Chu Feng's appearance was only of a handsome young man. Even if he was truly a cultivator, how powerful could he possibly even be? So, she shook her head and said, Just leave it child, this matter is unrelated to you, so I don't want to pull you into it with no reason. Whoosh, just at that time, Chu Feng waved his big sleeve and a layer of spirit formation enveloped Arya's mother. Quickly after, he grabbed that spirit formation, used the imperial sky technique, rose into the air, and directly brought Arya's mother above the white clouds as well. Ah, Chu Feng's speed was really too fast. When Arya's mother reacted, she was already 10,000 meters in the air. She looked at the tiny village under the white clouds and instantly shrieked in fright. Aunt, now, can you tell me what actually happened? Perhaps I can truly help you. Chu Feng asked again. At that instant, Arya's mother finally came to her senses. So Chu Feng could walk on air, and it was Chu Feng who brought her into the air. At that moment, Arya's mother looked at Chu Feng with different eyes, and in her gaze she looked at Chu Feng with, it was filled with admiration. As a commoner, she didn't understand the world of martial cultivation, but in her eyes, cultivators that could fly in the air and burrow into the ground were absolutely existences that were like gods. Suddenly, Arya's mother knelt in the air and cowed out to Chu Feng with her hands together held in front of her, Lord God, I beg you, please save my daughter. Please save the people in my village. And, if you have anything to say, stand up first. Didn't I already say that I would help you? What happened? Can you tell me in detail? Seeing that, Chu Feng hurriedly propped Arya's mother up. Afterwards, Arya's mother told everything that happened in detail to Chu Feng. Three hundred miles away from the village, there was a mountain range. On that mountain range, there was a group of cultivators who wanted to establish a school. They needed to open up land at the mountain range for a huge building project. Because they lacked laborers, they went everywhere to find strong men. The strong men in the village were all taken away and those who remained were either old people or children. Because Arya's elder sister had an outstanding appearance, she was also taken away by the group of people. 
Within the group of people, there was even an old person who could stand on air and change the weather as he wished to. So, the citizens even thought that he was a divine being, so they didn't dare to defy him. They could only obediently allow them to take the people away, and they didn't even dare to say a single word. 630485BFB98C962D6C69 Chapter 434 Elder Sister Goddess Big Brother, give these treasures to me. Aria really likes them. The snob girl in Z-Ling's embrace extended hand and wanted to grab them. Big Brother, give one to me. Will it not work if I take these to trade for one of yours? The shameless dirty child pushed the marble he took out from his pants up to chew foam. If you want them, fine. But there's one condition. Your big brother and big sister haven't eaten for a whole day. Whose parents can make delicious food? Treat big brother and big sister for a meal, then these spiritual beads will be theirs. Chu Feng said. And when Chu Feng's words were spoken, all of the children went into silence. They cast their gazes of admiration and envy towards the snot girl area. Haha, <laughs> this is great. The spiritual bead marbles are mine. Indeed, Aria was so excited she immediately jumped down from Zi Ling's embrace, and as she jumped up and down, she yelled, The dishes my mom makes are the most delicious. She knows how to make anything, and they are the most appetitive in our village. Big brother big sister, come home with Aria. I'll tell my mom to make the most delicious food. As she spoke, Aria skipped towards her home. Seeing that, Chu Feng and Zi Ling followed her. Aria's family environment was not bad. At least, in terms of being in the small village, it counted as being a moderately prosperous family. Aria's mother was also very friendly. After knowing that Zi Ling and Chu Feng hadn't eaten yet, she hurriedly started to cook a table of deliciousness for Chu Feng and Zi Ling. Although they were all local village dishes, it had to be said that Aria's mother's handiwork was truly quite nice. At least, it was a lot better than the wild beasts Chu Feng roasted. Zi Ling and Chu Feng ate with great appetite. Especially Zi Ling. She ate a mouthful of oil, so it could be seen that the girl was truly starving badly. But it had to be said that beauties were beauties. Chu Feng was entranced from looking at Zi Ling because no matter how much more wolfish she ate like, when one looked at her, they would still feel cuteness. Big sister, you are truly beautiful, just like a goddess. After the snot girl area returned home, her mother changed a set of clothing for her and washed her face. When there was much less snot on her after her face became clean, the girl had quite a cute appearance and that also caused Chu Feng to be more pleased when he looked at her. Oh area, how can there be goddesses in this world? Chu Feng hiddenly said. Having no culture was truly terrifying. In the world, there were only cultivators. How could there be any gods? They were merely martial cultivators with profound cultivation misunderstood by commoners. Citizens that hadn't cultivated before liked to call cultivators as gods or deities like things. In short, in their eyes, people with high cultivation were gods. For example, Chu Feng and Zi Ling. If they displayed their cultivation, it was likely that Aria would believe that they were gods. There are. If they can fly, they are gods. Aria blinked her big eyes that lacked any evil and argued with Chu Feng. Okay, if you say it like that, your big sister here would truly be a goddess. After Chu Feng looked at Zi Ling, he couldn't help laughing because Zi Ling could fly. According to Aria's words, wasn't Zi Ling a goddess? Actually, in my family, there's also an elder sister goddess. My elder sister is very beautiful as well, but she is traveling afar or else she could compare with you, big sister. As Aria spoke, she cast her gaze towards her mother and said, Mom, when is my elder sister coming back? I miss her. Your elder sister has only left for a few days. This time, she is traveling far, so it'll take a long time for her to come back. Aria's mother smiled as she rubbed Aria's head, then quickly after, said to Chu Feng and Zi Ling, there is still one more dish that is not finished. I'll go in to check. 
Aria's mother walked towards the kitchen while speaking. Although to a naive childlike Aria, she could not see anything wrong with that scene, Chu Feng and Zi Ling clearly saw the change in Aria's mother's emotions. It was helpless sadness, concealing the sorrow in her heart. Definitely, Aria's elder sister wasn't doing something as simple as traveling to a far place and something must have happened in this village, or else there wouldn't be so many old people and women silently crying. So, after signaling Zi Ling, Chu Feng tailed Aria's mother and entered the kitchen. Indeed, before even entering the kitchen, Chu Feng heard bursts of sobbing. They came from Aria's mother. Aunt, what happened? Where did Aria's elder sister go? Chu Feng went up and asked. Eh? You, Chu Feng's sudden arrival, jumped Aria's mother, and there was some panic and astonishment in the gaze she looked at Chu Feng with. Don't worry. I'm a cultivator. If you have any difficulties, feel free to speak them to me. Perhaps I can help you out. Chu Feng hurriedly explained. Really? You're a cultivator? Aria's mother half believed and half doubted. After all, Chu Feng's appearance was only of a handsome young man. Even if he was truly a cultivator, how powerful could he possibly even be? So, she shook her head and said, Just leave it child, this matter is unrelated to you, so I don't want to pull you into it with no reason. Whoosh, just at that time, Chu Feng waved his big sleeve and a layer of spirit formation enveloped Aria's mother. Quickly after, he grabbed that spirit formation, used the imperial sky technique, rose into the air, and directly brought Aria's mother above the white clouds as well. Ah, Chu Feng's speed was really too fast. When Aria's mother reacted, she was already 10,000 meters in the air. She looked at the tiny village under the white clouds and instantly shrieked in fright. Aunt, now, can you tell me what actually happened? Perhaps I can truly help you. Chu Feng asked again. At that instant, Aria's mother finally came to her senses. So Chu Feng could walk on air, and it was Chu Feng who brought her into the air. At that moment, Aria's mother looked at Chu Feng with different eyes, and in her gaze she looked at Chu Feng with, it was filled with admiration. As a commoner, she didn't understand the world of martial cultivation, but in her eyes, cultivators that could fly in the air and burrow into the ground were absolutely existences that were like gods. Suddenly, Aria's mother knelt in the air and cowed out to Chu Feng with her hands together held in front of her, Lord God, I beg you, please save my daughter. Please save the people in my village. And, if you have anything to say, stand up first. Didn't I already say that I would help you? What happened? Can you tell me in detail? Seeing that, Chu Feng hurriedly propped Aria's mother up. Afterwards, Aria's mother told everything that happened in detail to Chu Feng. Three hundred miles away from the village, there was a mountain range. On that mountain range, there was a group of cultivators who wanted to establish a school. They needed to open up land at the mountain range for a huge building project. Because they lacked laborers, they went everywhere to find strong men. The strong men in the village were all taken away and those who remained were either old people or children. Because Aria's elder sister had an outstanding appearance, she was also taken away by the group of people. Within the group of people, there was even an old person who could stand on air and change the weather as he wished to. So, the citizens even thought that he was a divine being, so they didn't dare to defy him. They could only obediently allow them to take the people away, and they didn't even dare to say a single word. Marshal God Azura. Chapter 435 Yen Yang Tian After knowing the truth of the matter, Chu Feng didn't delay, and after bringing Aria's mother back to the kitchen, Chu Feng returned to the room and told Zi Ling what happened. After knowing, Zi Ling was even more furious than Chu Feng. She said something about also going to annihilate the cultivators who lacked kindness, thus, without even finishing eating, Zi Ling left with Chu Feng. However, just as Chu Feng and Zi Ling rose into the air and headed towards the direction in which Aria's mother said to go, within some white clouds above the village, three silhouettes suddenly appeared. They were three people. Two middle-aged men, one white-haired old man. 
They were standing on air, but there wasn't a single stand of aura coming from their bodies. It was as if they weren't even existing. No one could detect them. And on their bodies, they were wearing golden-colored long robes. That special clothing undoubtedly belonged to the people of the Jiang dynasty. Report to the princess and say that Chu Feng and Zi Ling have already been discovered. The white-haired old man said to one of the middle-aged men. Yes, sir. Hearing those words, that man hurriedly took out a brush and paper, wrote a letter, then quickly after, took out a little delicate birdcage from his pocket. After entering special symbols, a delivery bird flew out from that little delicate bird cage. Contract the other clan members. They must catch those two alive before the princess arrives here. Quickly after, the white-haired old person said to the other middle-aged man. Yes, sir. In response, that middle-aged man didn't dally. He took out a special equipment and emitted an energy ripple that was invisible and undetectable. After the two men did all that, the old man waved his big sleeve and a layer of energy emanated from it. As the burst of energy enveloped them, the figures of the three become illusory and finally disappeared. Three hundred miles away from Arya's family, there was a mountain range that wasn't too big. The mountain range was originally a masterless place because that area was at the border of the Yuan province. There was a very small number of schools at that place so the region it occupied was very small as well. There were only some small powers of small schools in the surroundings of the mountain range. The cultivators with the strongest strengths were only in the peak of the profound realm. In such a strong province such as the Yuan province, without a heaven realm expert overseeing everything, a power like that would be at most a third-rate power. Even if there was a heaven realm expert overseeing, the power would only be second-rate. Only powers with many heaven realm experts and some that defied common sense were first-rate powers. In reality, within the Yuan province, there was only one true first-rate power, and that was the Hidden White Sect. The Hidden White Sect was like the Lingyan school of the Azure province. In order to keep its position of being the head of the dragon, it would suppress the development of other schools. Thus, in the Yuan province, there was a monopoly-like situation. However, because of the arrival of an old man several months earlier, the desolate region with extremely few cultivators suddenly changed. The surrounding small powers were stomped over one by one. Those who did not comply were all killed, and only those who were willing to follow that old man were allowed to keep their small lives. After several months of recruiting and with vicious methods, that old man became the overlord of that region. He recruited those who had strength to be his subordinates. In fact, recently, he was finally going to establish his own sect, and the location he was going to establish his own sect was the masterless mountain range 300 miles away from Arya's family. Rumble 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 rumble. Ding dong ding dong ding dong. On the masterless mountain, large-scale buildings were currently being constructed. It was a huge process, because it was not easy to build a sect. Even if cultivators had abilities that allowed them to break common sense, as they could easily open mountains, shatter rocks, and destroy other objects, they weren't as impressive when building things. At the end, to build detailed works, like vast palaces, still required masters within commoners. So, in order to build that sect, the mysterious old man did not invest a small amount of energy into it. All of the strong laborers he could use within the circumference of several hundred miles were all brought over by him. Currently, they were at the masterless mountain range working for him. Almost every day, there would be people worked to death. Big Bro Yen, congratulations! If this speed continues, your sect will be finished after a few more months. Ah, what Big Bro Yen? From now on, it's Sect Head Yen. Right, 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 sect head yen. Sect head yen. Ha ha ha. Within the mountain range, in a palace that was already complete, a group of cultivators were currently raising their cups and drinking madly. By their sides, there were also many young females who didn't have cultivation but had some gracefulness. They were extremely afraid. Even their bodies were trembling, but they could not cry and they could not shout. 
They even had to force cheerfulness and smiles while pouring tea and wine for the people surrounding them. Within those people, the face of a young female, which was quite graceful, was rather similar to Arias. But the important part was that the old man sitting on the head seat, with the cultivation of the first level of the heaven realm, was the strongest person within all of them. Looking at his face, it was quite familiar. It was the head of the Lingyun school, Yan Yang Tian. However, Yan Yang Tian at present already changed his name after coming to the Yuan province. Right now, he was called Yan Tian Yang. Brothers, no need to hold yourselves back. On the day that my sky sun sect is established, all of you will be my sect's chief elders and in the future, recorded in my sky sun sect's records and respected by countless disciples and elders. Yan Yang Tian said. Haha, <laughs> the reason we have today is all because of you, Sect Head Yen. That's right. Without Sect Head Yen, we would have very possibly died from muddling ourselves within third-rate powers. How could we have become chief elders of your Sky Sun Sect, and follow you as you create such a huge project? Yen Yang Tian's words caused the mood of the people there to rise greatly. The more the crowd chatted, the happier they got and at this time, something that could not be lacked was the topic people of the continent of the nine provinces discussed the most. Chu Feng and the Six Big Powers Everyone, have you heard of it yet? I heard of news stating that Chu Feng has come to our Yuan province. That's not possible, right? That devil has come to the Yuan province? Wouldn't the Yuan province be flipped upside down by him? It would be the best if that happens. It would be the best if Chu Feng destroyed the hidden white sect. With that, other powers would have chances, and perhaps our Sky Sun sect will even have a chance to become the number one power of the Xuan province. Haha. <laughs> All of you. This is truly nonsense. That Chu Feng has disappeared for such a long time, and there is simply no news about him. How is it possible that he comes to the Yuan province? I also feel that it is impossible for Chu Feng to come to the Yuan province. However, I do hope that he comes, and perhaps like what Zhao Bro said, if Chu Feng could greatly wound the vitality of the hidden white sect, perhaps it would give our recently created Sky Sun sect a chance. After all, heroes are born from a chaotic world. People were passionately discussing about Chu Feng's matters. Chu Feng had disappeared for quite some time and many people were guessing where Chu Feng's current traces were. There were rumors about Chu Feng going to all sorts of places. That was also something that couldn't be helped. Some people like to do that, to spread rumors as a hobby. If the rumors they spread became widely known, they would be unable to sleep from happiness because those people were so immature like that. 630485BFB9HC962D6C69 Chapter 435 Yan Yang Tian After knowing the truth of the matter, Chu Feng didn't delay, and after bringing Arya's mother back to the kitchen, Chu Feng returned to the room and told Zi Ling what happened. After knowing, Zi Ling was even more furious than Chu Feng. She said something about also going to annihilate the cultivators who lacked kindness, thus, Without even finishing eating, Zi Ling left with Chu Feng. However, just as Chu Feng and Zi Ling rose into the air and headed towards the direction in which Arya's mother said to go, within some white clouds above the village, three silhouettes suddenly appeared. They were three people. Two middle-aged men, one white-haired old man. They were standing on air, but there wasn't a single stand of aura coming from their bodies. It was as if they weren't even existing. No one could detect them. And on their bodies, they were wearing golden-colored long robes. That special clothing undoubtedly belonged to the people of the Jiang dynasty. Report to the princess and say that Chu Feng and Zi Ling have already been discovered. The white-haired old man said to one of the middle-aged men. Yes, sir. Hearing those words, that man hurriedly took out a brush and paper, wrote a letter, then quickly after took out a little delicate birdcage from his pocket. After entering special symbols, a delivery bird flew out from that little delicate bird cage. Contract the other clan members. They must catch those two alive before the princess arrives here. 
Quickly after, the white-haired old person said to the other middle-aged man. Yes, sir. In response, that middle-aged man didn't dally. He took out a special equipment and emitted an energy ripple that was invisible and undetectable. After the two men did all that, the old man waved his big sleeve and a layer of energy emanated from it. As the burst of energy enveloped them, the figures of the three become illusory and finally disappeared. Three hundred miles away from Aria's family, there was a mountain range that wasn't too big. The mountain range was originally a masterless place because that area was at the border of the Yuan province. There was a very small number of schools at that place, so the region it occupied was very small as well. There were only some small powers of small schools in the surroundings of the mountain range. The cultivators with the strongest strengths were only in the peak of the profound realm. In such a strong province such as the Yuan province, Without a heaven realm expert overseeing everything, a power like that would be at most a third-rate power. Even if there was a heaven realm expert overseeing, the power would only be second-rate. Only powers with many heaven realm experts and some that defied common sense were first-rate powers. In reality, within the Yuan province, there was only one true first-rate power, and that was the Hidden White Sect. The Hidden White Sect was like the Lingyan school of the Azure province. In order to keep its position of being the head of the dragon, it would suppress the development of other schools. Thus, in the Yuan province, there was a monopoly-like situation. However, because of the arrival of an old man several months earlier, the desolate region with extremely few cultivators suddenly changed. The surrounding small powers were stomped over one by one. Those who did not comply were all killed and only those who were willing to follow that old man were allowed to keep their small lives. After several months of recruiting and with vicious methods, that old man became the overlord of that region. He recruited those who had strength to be his subordinates. In fact, recently, he was finally going to establish his own sect, and the location he was going to establish his own sect was the masterless mountain range 300 miles away from Arya's family. Rumble 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 rumble. Ding dong ding dong ding dong. On the masterless mountain, large-scale buildings were currently being constructed. It was a huge process, because it was not easy to build a sect. Even if cultivators had abilities that allowed them to break common sense, as they could easily open mountains, shatter rocks, and destroy other objects, they weren't as impressive when building things. At the end, to build detailed works, like vast palaces, still required masters within commoners. So, in order to build that sect, the mysterious old man did not invest a small amount of energy into it. All of the strong laborers he could use within the circumference of several hundred miles were all brought over by him. Currently, they were at the masterless mountain range working for him. Almost every day, there would be people worked to death. Big Bro Yen, congratulations! If this speed continues, your sect will be finished after a few more months. Ah, what Big Bro Yen? From now on, it's Sect Head Yen. Right, 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 Sect Head Yen. Sect Head Yen. Ha ha ha. Within the mountain range, in a palace that was already complete, a group of cultivators were currently raising their cups and drinking madly. By their sides, there were also many young females who didn't have cultivation but had some gracefulness. They were extremely afraid. Even their bodies were trembling, but they could not cry and they could not shout. They even had to force cheerfulness and smiles while pouring tea and wine for the people surrounding them. Within those people, the face of a young female, which was quite graceful, was rather similar to Arya's. But the important part was that the old man sitting on the head seat, with the cultivation of the first level of the heaven realm, was the strongest person within all of them. Looking at his face, it was quite familiar. It was the head of the Lingyan school, Yan Yang Tian. However, Yan Yang Tian at present already changed his name after coming to the Yuan province. Right now, he was called Yan Tian Yang. Brothers, no need to hold yourselves back. On the day that my Sky Sun sect is established, all of you will be my sect's chief elders and in the future, 
recorded in my Sky Sun Sex records and respected by countless disciples and elders. Yen Yang Tian said. Haha, the reason we have today is all because of you, Sect Head Yen. That's right. Without Sect Head Yen, we would have very possibly died from muddling ourselves within third-rate powers. How could we have become chief elders of your Sky Sun Sect? and follow you as you create such a huge project. Yen Yangtian's words caused the mood of the people there to rise greatly. The more the crowd chatted, the happier they got, and at this time, something that could not be lacked was the topic people of the continent of the nine provinces discussed the most. Chu Feng and the Six Big Powers Everyone, have you heard of it yet? I heard of news stating that Chu Feng has come to our Yuan province. That's not possible, right? That devil has come to the Yuan province? Wouldn't the Yuan province be flipped upside down by him? It would be the best if that happens. It would be the best if Chu Feng destroyed the hidden white sect. With that, other powers would have chances, and perhaps our Sky Sun sect will even have a chance to become the number one power of this Yuan province. Haha. <laughs> All of you. This is truly nonsense. That Chu Feng has disappeared for such a long time, and there is simply no news about him. How is it possible that he comes to the Yuan province? I also feel that it is impossible for Chu Feng to come to the Yuan province. However, I do hope that he comes, and perhaps like what Zhao Bro said, if Chu Feng could greatly wound the vitality of the hidden white sect, perhaps it would give our recently created Sky Sun sect a chance. After all, heroes are born from a chaotic world. People were passionately discussing about Chu Feng's matters. Chu Feng had disappeared for quite some time and many people were guessing where Chu Feng's current traces were. There were rumors about Chu Feng going to all sorts of places. That was also something that couldn't be helped. Some people liked to do that, to spread rumors as a hobby. If the rumors they spread became widely known, they would be unable to sleep from happiness because those people were so immature like that.